Hi everyone, today is the Abyssal PvP Master Stone CC. Actually, it's already started 15 minutes ago. So, this is a perfect opportunity to try out this new type of Abyssal Death Space content. I'm using for this the standard Abyssal Death Space Sacrilege. At least most of the people this configuration use the, the Blava 5. The only difference I put in some ATM drones in so I can maybe distract people with it. Let's load in the boosters. If I understand it completely, we have to complete this Abyssal Death Space run and in the end we have a side passage into the Abyssal Proving Ground, I think they call it. And there we can do this Abyssal PvP thing. But I didn't know if this is arena is 1v1 or more people fight each other. Well, I gonna find that really soon. I saw this to my overview. So after the patch we have these extra caches. We can blow up and we find in them the extra material. I think this kind of interesting show is not uh, doubling in the base cache drop rate but bringing in these separate caches. They are not located close to the gate so when people on this side have to make the decision, they have enough time to loot them as well. Especially with ships that not that fast. Especially... Oh, where my armor is gone. Let's just overload this armor repair very quickly. <sighs> okay, stabilizing. I don't know where this big damage came from. It happened again. Oh, now I get it. The stavish came from the overmind. It looks like they have a very slow fire rate, but when they fire, they do a very big punch. This is probably quite obvious to everyone else, but I didn't did too much level 4 Abyssal site, so I definitely have a lot of things I didn't know. So far I stick with the level 3 sites and not really go up for level 4 or 5. Looks like against the Overmind working the 500 orbit trick, they are not able to track me correctly.
finally he's done. This took much more time than I expected. Okay, let's go into the next pocket. I'm not gonna check these loot caches. I just wanna reach end of this side quickly and check out this obviously PvP. I'm gonna reload to explosive missile. I have a feeling we are gonna run into some Triglavian pretty soon. And I was wrong. That's nice, ton of sleep bedroom. Let's get to work. The explosive rage missile not the best against sleeper drones, but let's test it first. I'm gonna change into Navy Missile after that finish this last uh, melting ship. I definitely made the right choice. The whole process is now a bit faster.
Apologies. Last room, once we have drones, that will be easy. I'm just gonna orbit this Deviant Automata and pick them out one by one. That was the last drone. Now I have to figure that out what ammunition I gonna use for this fight. I probably running into some gila. They are quite popular into hobbies so let's go with uh, AM damage. Wait no. If they are smart they gonna put some extra in resist on the ship. Let's then go with kinetic. I feel about good with kinetic. People are not likely to put extra resist on kinetic. I still have almost five minutes to get to that gate. This time I'll probably get reset when I get into that arena. At least I hope so. And not some good solo PvP, so I'm probably gonna die some hilarious way. Here goes nothing. <laughs> and I was correct, we're gonna fight against the Gila. Okay, let's start with the uh, ECM drones. I'm getting some really nice damage, let's overhit my reverse. I'm gonna try and take out one of his drones. Definitely in some passive tone build. Okay, one drone's run. Looks like my ECM drones do their job nicely. Let's overhit my missiles.
this guy has a real nice finish, let's use my first. And they took out one of my guys. Oh, it's so dumb. The Vine starts examining the drones, not the ships. And they only have two drones. It would be easy to jam them out. I'm losing my ACM drones. Maybe next time I'm gonna try this trick. Okay, I'm changing to combat drones. It was a dumb idea hitting his drone in the, of the start of the fight. Oops, I started losing drones again. I trying to preserve them, but my opponent definitely capable of flying them. I am able to slowly grind him down. I have to do some overheating, but I definitely win this fight. I win, nice. That was a good little fight. Looks like we are not able to communicate to the local chat. I'm gonna approach this cache and see what's in them. But in the meantime, let's drop this kill meal into the most test channel. And this is a standard passive tongue fit. Good for Abyssal content, but I don't believe they're gonna be good for this type of PvP stuff. What's in the box? It's looking nice. I think this is the new type of motoplast that we can use on weapon upgrades. This stuff are definitely interesting. They're gonna really shake up the meta. This 2% fire rate bonus kind of weird. <laughs> I expected, I don't know, maybe 5%, but whatever. So this is the new Abyssal PvP content. I gonna do a couple of more run in the server to figure it out a little bit better. But I seen so far it looks good. And I obviously not gonna make a judgment based on one fight. So expect more video with this kind of content. But anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.